Here's how to progress as slow as possible in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Step one, focus on the belts. If you want to go as slow as possible in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, get your belt on the forefront of your mind. Don't focus on improving from day to day. Don't focus on getting one little thing out of class. Instead, focus on how your teammate is doing. If they get a stripe, start comparing yourself to them. Start thinking, hmm, if I'm able to tap him out, then that means I deserve a stripe. I deserve another belt. Start thinking about the importance of why you wear belts. If they give you more respect, if it means you're better at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, if you feel proud of yourself to get a new belt, focus on that instead of the day-to-day -day learnings and the things that are going to make you a little bit better. Focus on the belts. Number two, how to make your progress as slow as possible in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Focus on doing the moves as hard as you can, as quickly as you can, and don't worry about whether or not it's 100% correct or if the move feels correct. Don't worry about getting an internal sense of flow and correctness. Instead, focus on ripping the moves as hard as you can. If you're sparring with someone who is lower ranked than you, don't sit there and troubleshoot and try to make the move feel as correct as possible. Instead, just get through it as quick as you can, muscle these reps, and just rip and roar to get the tap as quick as you possibly can. Number three, how to progress as slow as possible in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Focus on not sparring. Just show up, put in your time, get through the reps as quick as you can, and leave as soon as class is done. Everybody knows the extra time before class, the extra time after class is sort of a waste. You're only there for an hour anyways. Might as well just get through what you have to get through and be done with it. Don't stick around for the extra sparring time. Just be done. Get through your reps and get it over with. If you're confused about a move or technique, make sure you don't ask questions. Your coach actually doesn't want to hear if you're misunderstanding something. He wants perfect students who are going to get it right away and do it with no questions asked. If there's a misunderstanding, keep your mouth shut. You might get embarrassed. And everybody knows embarrassment is the thing you should be avoiding. We're not here to learn. We're here to get through the class, have a little bit of fun, and be done. We're not here to get better. We're not here to improve. If you want to get good at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as slow as possible, never ask questions, hide your misunderstandings, and purposely partner up with people who are lower ranked than you, so that way when you're drilling your moves, you can do them incorrectly and no one will make fun of you. Everyone knows that if you practice your moves with an upper belt, they'll tell you that, hmm, that's not quite right. Maybe you should try to do it like this, or shift your weight here, or move your hand in this position. And that's embarrassing, and we don't want to do that. We want to get good at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as slow as possible. So make sure not to ask questions if you're confused. Number five, how to progress as slow as possible. Don't spend any extra time outside of class investing in moves. You don't want to go on YouTube and research extra techniques. If you're having trouble in a specific position, series, or technique, don't go out there and see what other people have to say. Don't expose yourself to more information. Instead, narrowly focus on the things that you're going to do in class for that day, and then sort of forget about them after the fact. Don't go back and, you know, say if you're working on a side control position. Don't go and search up top side control position tips. Or if you're being crushed in side control, don't go out there and access the information from some of the world-class competitors and coaches that has freely available information. Simply ignore that. You don't need to invest extra time. We're here to get good as slow as possible. Furthering on this point, when you're exposed to concepts and ideas in class, don't take notes on them. If you have a class that's particularly useful, maybe the maybe the coach touches on a technique that you've been working on for a while or a position you have trouble with, don't take out your journal and write it because everyone knows if you expose yourself to information in multiple different ways, say you are researching videos on it, say you're learning about it in class, say you're sparring before or after class, which again, if we want to get slow as possible, don't do that extra time. Then if you're writing it down, that's a whole other way you're exposing yourself to this information. And everybody knows when you continually expose yourself to information from different sides, you absorb it quicker and you learn faster. And if we want to get good as slow as possible, this is how to do it. Bonus tip for getting good as slow as possible, don't train consistently. 
Everybody knows that if you show up for consistently three days a week minimum for bonus, you get good pretty quick. If you do that week in, week out for like three months, you're going to start to see continual progress. What we want to do instead is hit it really, really hard. We'll go five days a week. Then we're going to completely burn out. We're going to get caught up in life stuff. And then we're going to not go to the gym for like two weeks. Then we're going to drink the night before. We're going to come in hungover. And then we're going to try to hit it really hard. And then we're going to get injured. And then we're going to take another break. And since you took that long break, you're going to come back right again and then burn yourself out and get injured one more time. If we're trying to get good as slow as possible, we want to show up super inconsistently. I would highly advise not making it a part of your schedule and not making a habit out of it. Say if you're going to work at a certain time and you can hit the morning class, shower, and then go to work right after. Maybe do that a few times a week. If you make it a consistent routine and part of your schedule, you're going to have really quick progress. And if we're getting good as slow as possible, that's not how to do it. The last tip I have for getting good as slow as possible is don't push yourself. Don't sign up for competitions or something that's going to make you go a little out of your comfort zone. Everybody knows if we want to get good slow, we want to stay what's comfortable. We only want to partner with people who we know we can beat. We don't want to go out there and push ourselves. So if you're actively seeking opponents who are better than you, and you're actively trying to train for competitions, something that's going to have adversity and make you a little bit scared, it's going to push you to grow. You're going to be more motivated to go out there and train a little bit longer to hit those extra classes. And if we're trying to get good as slow as possible, don't do that. We want to go and stay within our comfort zone. Don't push beyond your limits. <laughs> All right. So obviously, if you're trying to get good as fast as possible, literally just do the opposite of everything I said in this video. I was having a little bit of a fun with it. But what inspired me to make this video is the counter coaching concept. Now, I'll make another video on counter coaching. But if your opponent's coach is, or even your coach, say you're, you're in the middle of the gym. This is where I got the video idea from. It's saying, hey, bridge and roll, get, you know, make him post his hands. Say you're on top mount and he's giving advice to the person who's on bottom mount. Literally, just do the opposite. If your opponent's coach is saying, close guard, close guard, get to close guard. Don't let him get to close guard. Literally, just do the exact opposite of what he's saying. So obviously you can apply this concept to the video and do the opposite of what I suggested. If you get good as slow as possible by doing that, well, obviously we invert it. We want to start, you know, not focusing on the belts. We want to start focusing on little improvements. We want to get out of our comfort zone. We want to try to grow. We want to ask questions. We definitely want to expose ourselves to information in as many different ways as you can. Now on that, if you start investing in techniques that are like, meh, it might slow your progress. Now, I spent a lot of time trying to do the buggy choke because I think it was fun and I wasn't specifically training for a competition. But if you're a little bit newer and you get caught up in like fancy techniques that are like a little bit showy, a little bit flashy, eh, you, I, I'd recommend focusing on the fundamentals and things that are actively being taught in your class. That's, that's much more effective. But even still, if you start exposing yourself to more information, it's almost never a bad thing. So... Literally do the opposite of everything I said in this video if you want to progress faster. Drink your kombucha since you made it to the end of the video and support the channel down below. Liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing these videos helps me make them, helps me know people are out there watching. Peace.